this is fucking incredible. This might be one of the best unhinged Crystalia rants I've seen in a while. And he has these quite often now in his pod. And I feel like they are um I feel like it's like a representation of his consciousness kind of like rising up to the forefront because he probably in his daily life tries to act like everything's okay. He tries to probably pretend like it's all good, it's all it's all fine. But in actuality he's living in an internal hell. Right. And I think for a for a victim out there, alleged victim, if the stories are true, the allegations that are out there about him, I think that some that should bring you some comfort. I know he's not in prison. I know he's, you know, he's not destitute and he's not broken shit. I know that's probably hard to take that he's still successful in some regards. But I think the fact that he says stuff like this and acts the way he does should bring you some level of comfort because you know he's tormented. You know what I mean? Literally tormented because his career that he had prior to the Diddling allegations was on another... He, he was he was about to, you know, he was about to be out of the fucking, you know, he was about to be out of here. And then suddenly that allegations come and completely halted his career and changed the trajectory of his career forever and ever. So this is an example of it. I, I Dude, if I ever make it back into Hollywood, which, uh, you know... I, I, if I do, I'm just going to do it. They don't, they don't. I, I, bro, you thought you seen real. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I can't. No, no. Ricky Bobby, please refrain from saying such a thing. That is a wild statement. He's looking jacked. Those little girls never going to escape his grasp now. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the first thing I noticed. I was like, shit, Delia's shoulders are like shouldering, right? He's looking fucking wide. And then I read that comment. I was like, oh my God, that is disturbed. <laughs> You're my little kid now. <laughs> Honestly, fucking hell. He's putting on muscle so he can trap these girls in these hotel rooms. Yo, this is fucking wild, man. You guys are all going to hell. Like I said, I'll be in heaven with Chin singing fucking church hymns. You guys will be down in hell with Chris Lear and shit. You haven't seen real until I get back into Hollywood, dude. Chris, you excited to be back in Hollywood? Just excited to be getting that money. Don't really care about it other than that. Yeah, da 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 Junk, dunk, dunk. Dung, 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 dung. Dung. Also didn't have fun on Army of the Dead. Ya da 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 da. Shung, dung, dung. It was too hot. We did takes for too long, and the fucking movie is probably bad. Didn't ever see it. Ya da 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 da. Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. I still have pictures of me in uniform, and might post them one day. Ya da 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 da. Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. Wait, Chris, what do you think of the? Ah, fuck it. Release the Zack Snyder Chris Lee cut. Ya da 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 da. Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. I stole the movie. Good thing that they took cut me out of it. Ya da 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 da. Dung, dung, dung. Dung, dung, dung. Yink, 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 yink. So as you can tell, <laughs> Chris is doing perfectly fine, right? He's doing perfectly fine. So like I said, if you're a victim out there and you happen to come across this stream or this clip later on, please seek some level of comfort that this guy is never going to be the same again. Legit never going to be the same again because his whole entire reality came shattering down around him. Because the thing I think people discount about Chris Leah's sort of like cancellation thing. Maybe I'm the only one that didn't see it because I'm fucking naive and gullible but i don't think a lot of people even viewed chris in like a super sexual way before his allegations so i think the issue with him was that he always came across like fun loving and like silly and he did, he doesn't really even curse that much and then when the allegations came out it painted him out like he was a fucking monster and you thought whoa this guy's completely different behind the scenes and I think that's what fucked him mostly because people then saw who he really is and he's been hiding it for so long. But then when he finally got, you know, laid bare and exposed in public, it just fucked him. And that's why probably he took so long to come back out. Because you remember when the allegations dropped, he disappeared for like a year. He didn't do pods. He just disappeared forever. Um, You know, he was probably locked in his house somewhere trying to feel depressed or making up excuses or, you know, according to some women, he was still texting them and shit and still getting his dick sucked and whatever. But man that shit was crazy when it dropped i remember when it dropped finding it out thinking whoa bro this guy just played a fucking pedo on the on fucking you and then he gets accused of being a pedo in real life you're like 
absolutely crazy. But yeah, Chris is in really good spirits. He's obviously doing well. And again, this makes me laugh because, you know, Mark Norman and all those other guys were like, you know, kind of shocked when they heard that Chris was still selling tickets and shit. And in my, when I interpreted it, it kind of looked like they were kind of impressed. Oh yeah, look, he's, he's still succeeding even though he's got cancelled because comedians only care about fucking selling tickets. But for me, I'd rather be an average comedian not selling out theatres then be somebody who can't hang like you know other comics don't want to be his friend because they don't want to get you know cancelled either he can't go to other clubs with other people and just hang out and shit you kind of live in your own little island i'd much rather be an average comic working a part-time job bagging groceries and shit than be fucking crystal lee and have people think i'm a fucking pedo it's just not worth it personally for me i don't care how many tickets you sell but you know that's probably why i'm not a stand-up in it because if you're a stand-up you have to have that brutal like laser focused you know determination to just sell tickets at any cost doesn't matter who you fuck over who you rape who you diddle tickets 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 sell out sell out sell out netflix 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 <laughs> oh mate honestly 